Hi everyone, I just finished my meditation and I love to do my meditation and uh, morning walks during weekends outside in the nature and uh, I have made a separate channel for uh, you all guys to contribute in it and share my ideas about the meditation, about law of attraction, about self-love. If you are interested in such type of uh, stuff, please, uh, I will um, add the link below. So click the link below and support my channel by subscribing it. And I have now, uh, I will not go in more detail about meditation. It really helps to calm your brain down and open your mind to receive many ideas. And I have got very nice idea to make a lovely dress for you guys. And um, let's get started. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to uh, teach you how I made this stylish cowl neck dress. Previously I did one video on cowl neck design that was divided in two parts and some of you were struggling to find part two. So this time I made this complete video so you can follow step by step how I made this design. This design is my own way of making cowl neck design. As you can see it is stylish and really nice. Uh, way of making a uh, cover neck design so let's get started i took one and a half meter of viscous jersey fabric so you can choose any fabric of your choice and you need a pattern for bodice pattern any pattern you have already prepared and stick on fabric scissor pins and obviously measuring tape we need so first of all i divided uh, the fabric in two parts because um, i got this fabric in pieces and i have no much choice so i just uh, uh, divide my piece in two and take your measurement and after taking a measurement first of all we will start by take uh, by cutting the back part of this dress or top whatever you are making for uh, this uh, type of uh, dress make sure your uh, um, lining for the back neck back part of the neck it, it shouldn't be too big just keep three inches wide from the folded end and shoulder shoulder measurement is same as uh, you keep it like a 14 inches if you have shoulder measurement then take half of it and uh, because the fabric is folded and the sleeves they must be shorter than the normal if you take seven inches sleeve then take six inches sleeve because this is a jersey fabric and it will hang down it will be hanging so that's why you should take smaller length for the armhole and i haven't uh, uh, cut the total length of the dress i just left it uh, as it is but i just i divided uh, the fabric in two pieces the total length of my fabric it is 22 inches at the moment like sorry to a uh, width of the fabric is 22 so now i'm going to cut the lining for the back part um, of the fabric for the back neck lining i uh, cutting now one and a half inches wide strip of the fabric and i will place this strip of fabric on stick on fabric this stick on fabric has one uh, side plain and one side has a sticky um, stuff so when you iron it it stick um, with the fabric so i'm now cutting the stick on fabric the same as i have cut the lining on and after that i will place this fabric um, on uh, my um, dress first of all we will be placing printed part and then stick on fabric and make sure the sticky part is on the top because when we will we will fold it inside the sti um, sticky part will go at the bottom so it will stick with the fabric so now i'm going to use my overlocker and stitch it stitch from the center i have done it now you can see when i will fold it it will go back but i will not iron it at the moment it's just um, leave it on a side and now we will start doing our uh, front part of the dress because as i mentioned you i took this fabric in a pieces so make sure your uh, whole piece is um, um, uh, at the same length so i make it um, balance and now from the top i am taking 13 inches um, measurement down and 13 inches we're not going to touch that 13 inches at the moment 
my bodice pattern is bit rolled up so i roll it back backward and um, then is uh, straight now so from the edge of the mark 13 inches i am going to mark armhole for the front part of the dress as you can see from the edge i'm making an armhole and then we will give the shape for the side of the dress now i'm start giving the shape for the um, side of your um, dress and keep sliding your pattern a little bit and then keep marking at the same time when uh, your fabric is straight now you will have a uh, waist marking as well but after this marking still you have a uh, much space and uh, uh, time then you can measure your own uh, take your own measurement and then measure your waist and bust measurement if it is bigger then you can cut and make it smaller but at the moment just cut according to your pattern the armhole is coming from the side uh, from the front part so upper part we left it open for making the pleats on the neckline for making a cowl neck now i'm measuring my bust measurement waist measurement so it is all right for me so i'm just going ahead and cut the side of the dress and give the shape as i want This is how our front part looks like after cutting you can see the side uh, of the dress waistline and armhole as well so re um, rest of the dress you can make it um, all right after but this is 13 inches we left open now i'm um, uh, from the top one and a half inches i'm just going to cut diagonal because this area we will fold now i'm going to use my overlocker and then uh, this is ready now because we're not doing any hemming around the neck so it is better to use it um, do overlocking before now see what i am doing and we need to use our bodice pattern again for uh, making the plates or cowl neck design so fold the fabric from the uh, from the side and the measure the length you want how um, how deep you want your neck just uh, guess and then start giving fold as i am doing and make sure your armholes are matching with your patterns underneath because this bodice pattern i am using as a template to create these cowl uh, plates and now is a third pleat i'm adding and you can see these pleats are not straight they are diagonal they are going down because um, uh, because of the length i want so according to my requirement i am adding them so now you can see the armhole are matching and the pleats are matching if any fabric will be extra afterward we will cut them but at the moment you can see um, this is how it looks like and the rest of the fabric i will be cutting this is um, uh, you can see the nice cowl neck plates um, uh, on my dress and now i'm going to ca cut the excessive fabric uh, on the shoulders on both sides i have cut them and our front part is almost ready so before i remove the pins i am going to use my sewing um, needle and thread and i will just give loose stitch so my pleats stay intact because if you remove from the paper without doing that then your pleat will go away again so in this uh, now i'm going to do on the uh, other shoulder as well and now i can remove my pins and my front part is ready to attach with the back part of my dress and this is how it looks like after these pleats now i'm going to attach it with the back part so you see the back part the front uh, both front sides facing each other and the one shoulder right at the edge of the uh, neck lining of the back and the four i will i'm folding the neck lining back on it because when we'll stitch we will have a really neat and nice stitching around the neckline and i'm pinning up the another shoulder as well same as i did uh, one shoulder 
and uh, then um, make sure that the uh, armhole they are matching each other now i have uh, stitched this shoulder and i'm removing my pins and after removing i'm going to iron this back neckline you know that the stick uh, stick on fabric so it will stick now so you can see the nice stitching around the neckline so press uh, uh, press a little bit harder with the um, uh, iron so it will stick with your fabric now you can see this uh, back lining is ready is stick with the uh, fabric now is the time to do the sides of this dress so match the sides of the dress uh, place it on the flat surface and uh, make sure because the jersey fabric is quite fiddly so make sure that you pin up everything and cut the excessive fabric whatever length you want you choose it i am taking 39 inches total length so i cut the excess fabric and uh, now i'm pinning up my uh, sides of the dress so i will just uh, stitch the sides and after stitching the side this is how it looks like and i'm going to uh, try it on so it's better to try it on at this stage because this dress is not like a, a exact pattern so uh, you should put it on and see if the arms arm holes are bigger you can make it a little bit smaller at this stage or if any ex uh, extra fabric just uh, cut it and make it equal on both side now i have put it on this is how it looks like and a very nice shape of the neck and depth i'm happy happy with the depth as well so uh, these folds looks pretty nice and um this is the time for the sleeve armhole you can see if if you find the armhole are a little hanging then give a, a little more stitch accordingly and if you want to make a dress a little bit tighter then you can do it at this stage i am going to uh, cut sleeves uh, now because i have very small amount of fabric left left for making sleeve so i'm just uh, um, i have no more much choice really so i'm going to make really uh, short sleeves so uh, i have these uh, pieces left from the side of this dress and i'm going to use them to cut the sleeves and how to cut the sleeves i have described in previous video i will add the link below below so you can go and have a look so you can see at the moment how i'm cutting taking the uh, length um, of the armhole and mark the center so um, and now placing this piece of fabric or another fabric and cutting another sleeve as well so after cutting another sleeve i am going to use my machine and stitch them with the dress and mark the center so in this way you will know where to keep the shoulder now both sleeves um, i have stitched from the side turn them around and uh, you can see the uh, joints of the sleeves and um, on the dress now i'm going to match these joints uh, of the sleeves and start stitching and same i will be doing on another this is how my dress looks like it's um i really enjoy making this um, dress it's lovely fabric and lovely design hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching please try it at home and let me know how it goes and don't forget to check my uh, another channel one step closer and if you like content of this video press thumbs up and see you all in my next video bye